Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to it. That's right. The What More Can I Say podcast, episode 15. Am I right? Am I we on 15? Yes. 15, 15 is right. Yeah. Yes. 15. What's up? I'm one of your hosts, Tom Gapone. Let me introduce you to my fellow co host And we got to do ladies first. The ladies of the pod, the lady of the pod. Mm-hmm. Kiki, what's up, baby? Hey, y'all. Cheers to um, episode 15. 15 episodes. Okay, we getting there. We are we getting potting. there. Yes. We- we are fine. Yes. And my little brother, and, and definitely one of the skinniest dudes that gets the most flack on the pod, man. <laughs> Zach Bull, what's up, boy? I don't, I don't understand why my size always has to be, you know, put into the pod. Mine I'm, is always in there, too, so don't feel I'm, bad. He's body shaming us, Peaky. We are much more than our shapes. <laughs> that, you are right, Zach. You are right. Matter of fact, yeah, we need to turn this thing around. We're going to introduce him as a light skin. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hi. How many light skin jokes do y'all make constantly on the pod? <laughs> we don't have to make them. They just make themselves at this point. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, man. Welcome, everybody, man. It's the first time joining us. This is a lot of fun. We're going to get our laugh on. We're going to maybe get a little serious. If Zach allows us to get serious, because sometimes Zach just takes a serious thing and just turns it. That's not yeah. It's Nothing in life is serious. Y'all live too seriously. Nothing's that serious. Oh, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> all right, all right. Nah. Well, let's go ahead and get right to it. it it's time to start podding. All right. Uh, we all woke up to it today. A lot of people saw it across the country, people that are watching this. Uh, Chicago looting. Uh, and it seemed to come out of nowhere. Uh, some things that happened in Inglewood. This is, that is a city, well, a city inside of our city, a town inside of our city. Um, and, and it seemed to spill out in a way where people thought, well, it was okay to go loot. When you heard about the looting, Zach, what did you, how'd you feel? First thing I thought was not again. I mean, that was the first thing I, I said, not again. And the thing is, it turns out that, you know, they were looting off, off false information. First I heard it was a 15 year old boy who got shot and killed by the police, but that ended up not being true from what I've heard so far that it's a 20-year-old who was shooting at the police and the police shot back, but they didn't kill him and he's in stable condition. Um, Still would like to see body cam footage. I don't know. I don't necessarily take police officers' word like, oh, yeah, that's exactly what happened because, you know, police lie. So I would love to see some body cam footage. But immediately I thought, not again. It reminds me, this whole thing reminds me of the fact that, you know, how are people going to take our our riots and looting seriously when it's for the right reasons if we if we do it for the wrong reason you know it's almost the same example it's not the same thing cuz this is way more serious but like let's say a young lady um claims that she's raped and she wasn't that hurts other real rape victims and in, in fact from the point of getting believed you know what i'm saying like cry wolf you, situation i get it yeah you don't want to cry wolf man and i just i it didn't. It didn't sit well with me, especially when I thought I wasn't gonna be able to make it to work because they put the because they put the bridges up. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? The, the bridges up thing. I'm like, yo, this is a bit intense. Yeah. All right, Kiki, when you woke up, I'm sure your phone was going crazy, getting hit with all the videos. What were you thinking when you saw people actually running cars into stores, people yeah. riding around with ATMs on the back of their car? What were you thinking? You know, first of all, let me address a few things. If I was Lori Lightfoot, today would be my last day on the job. I would quit. Now, I don't need this type of stress in my life. Chicago, y'all keep this little check. I don't know how she's doing it, okay? Secondly, I saw people running down the street with cash registers. This how you know you ain't had a job. Because anybody who had a job before, no, ain't no money in the cash registers when the store closed. Now, that was just dumb. So he going to take his dumb ass home with an empty cash register. So shout out to him. You know, it was just several things. I was bothered by the Audi crashing into the store. I'm like, that's an Audi. Why you crash into the store? You know, go get my car and go crash into the store. But I Audi, I was so confused. So it just seemed like, you know, one thing didn't have to do with the other. And I just, I hate that the people who are behind the, you know, the great people behind the Black Lives Matter movement always get wrapped up in the mess of people who just want to go out and loot. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Y'all making everybody look bad. That's not the call. That's not what we want to do. And, you know, what you, I agree with you, Zach. When I heard that there was a police-involved shooting, anytime I hear that there's a police-involved shooting, I want to see 
the body cam. I don't trust whatever y'all get together and say and put out um, because the facts were just coming out way too slow, you know, for it to be like in the middle of the day, here it is the next day, we still don't have all the facts. So I definitely think there was something fishy there. But did it want y'all running down the street with empty cash registers? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, just just pick your pick your battles and let's let's you know. Check. Yeah, it it was it was super crazy to me. I think when I saw it, I'm I'm getting hit with all the videos. I went yeah. to sleep and I was out last night. So I went to sleep though the night when it when it happened. And I went to sleep. I woke up this morning like, yo, this is crazy that all this is happening. I'm looking mm -hmm. at all these videos, people running in and out of stores. People, people grabbing Louboutins. They know their feet can't fit them Louboutins. They just grab, they got boxes and stuff. And I just, and I like to do this because I'm petty. When mm -hmm. people send me all of the tone, you a coon, you not, you know, revolution takes, takes change. It takes these type of moments. You got to know that this is what happens. Sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable with change. And all. Man, I don't want to hear none of that, y'all. <laughs> Stealing stuff don't got nothing to do with it, fam. How is stealing Louboutins? How is stealing a Gucci belt, a Gucci purse, helping the cause? <laughs> that don't even make sense. Yeah. It don't make sense. It sounds like, yo, hey, I'm going to come up, I'm going to steal this stuff and sell it. I don't even think a lot of them are going to wear it. They're stealing nah, they it to sell, sell it. it. Mm -hmm. And that's just not the way to go. It makes everything, it, it just minimalizes everything. And that's the thing that I, I just, it makes me think that we're at a place, and I hate to say it, we're at a place. We know how Chicago is and how it's been segregated for years and how black folks have been marginalized and kept out of opportunities in, in, in their own neighborhoods. You know, these type of things are, 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 I guess, results of what went down, right? Because I know I've heard it when I was growing up that people were mad like, yo, I can't even get a business in my own community. I can't get a business loan in my own community, but somebody not from here and not from my community can get a business loan. It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. Even if I got I got really good credit, it's just, so I think a lot of this is built up with people sh saying stuff to kids, saying, you know, kids raising themselves because the parents are at work because they have to work two and three jobs. And this, we're at a point that a generation that does not care is at. They don't, they don't care. Because you can't care if you running in downtown like it's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> we you are, can't care. You we can't are, care. We are living with demons, okay? Everybody who was down there with some little demons destroying stuff. Like Kiki said, why would you drive a nice Audi into, into a store? Yes. I know why. Because the Audi stole it. That's why. <laughs> okay? It's just crime on top of crime. And you know what? Guess what? The, the thing about these stupid little demons is they record everything. And guess what? Everybody can see it. And 100 people got locked up today with your dumb ass. Y'all didn't even have y'all mask on. Y'all got COVID and, and y'all going to jail. And then they, they go live. Like, why y'all going live committing crimes? Who do that? Who they does that? Live. It's, so, that. <laughs> it's so more important for the for that for the recognition of doing something crazy than getting yes. away with it. That's that's the craziest thing yes. to me. I'm like, yes. dude is brushing up an ATM <laughs> at an ATM and he he's on live. Another dude says, <laughs> Man, the police broke my foot. You can't even loot down here right now. <laughs> like, like the police is spoiling it for looting. Like bro, yeah, bro, it, it, it's it's just insane. I don't know when it's gonna stop. I don't. None of us three have the answer. So we are no. gonna move on to something that that uh, Kiki, <laughs> you obviously gonna have to have the answer for this. What that Friday, which I probably blame this song for starting the the storm in Chicago, <laughs> people going crazy. W A P WAP WAP whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> Cardi B and Meg The Stallion are wilding and got getting criticized for all the sexual content in the song. How are you feeling when this song dropped? How you feel about it? You know, I felt proud. I felt liberated, okay? I felt like I just wanted to stand at the top of the stage and sing for all the girls who got the WAP. Like, it is an anthem, and I don't understand why everybody's uptight. Tone, <laughs> you like WAP, yes. Zach, you like WAP. Yes. Mm -hmm. So why are we upset about this? I'm so confused. <laughs> Let's all honor these 
you know, like, Zach. Like, Zach, jump in, please. Do okay. not let Kiki get okay. this off like that. I can't. I can't. Kiki, I hate to do this to you what? and to the people and to the ladies listening. Everybody talking about, oh, I got that wop. I got that wop. Yeah, you got that wop. You got some wide ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got, yeah. some, you got some withered ass. <laughs> you, you, know you got some wrinkled ass. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of W's you got. But everybody ain't got that wet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like, yeah. I got, that, I got that Kella. I got that you know, wop. I just think you guys are mad because dudes can never make a song about their, their stuff. And their Safari song. did. Yeah. Well, he made, he had, he proved it. He he pulled out the photos. All, well, listen, y'all y'all know. all y'all not willing to do that. So, but we ain't running around acting like we all see. That's the thing, dude. What? We not get ready to go and say hey, every one of us. I got that. I got a pole sitting inside my jeans. No, we not get ready to say that. We not okay. saying that. Mm-hmm. But when women come out and say, yeah, wop. I got it. Yeah, girl, I got it too. I'm not saying I have self confidence. Self confidence. But I'm gonna tell you, for a person that experiences a, a nice amount of vaginas in my life, everybody, everybody ain't got the wop. It's a lot of, it's a lot of mob, mob, mob and the mild ass. But it's a lot of the mild it's a lot, mid. It's you know, mild what? mids. It's a lot of, it's a lot of okay. Well, you know, that's that's the women y'all mess with. That's their testimony. But as for you in my house and the wop over here. We are good, okay? Okay, so okay. I don't know what, <laughs> you know. Kiki, what? You don't think it was reckless for them to say this? For them when they said, <laughs> they called dudes bottom feeders. <laughs> she didn't you, mean it like that. She didn't mean it like that. You know, we can't get... You stopped the wave. You can't get too technical with these lyrics, okay? Because if we dissect all the, the hip-hop rap songs that guys <laughs> make, Okay, we would really be debating. So let us have this song. Let us, you know, walk around saying we got WAP and let us have a great time. And y'all should be thankful for the video. Did y'all see the video? Yes, I did. I did see the video. Several times. Amazing. Amazing. So what (laughs) y'all complain about? No, I just, you called us bottom feeders. They say, give everything, give give me everything you you got. A lot of, So you are admitting that you are a bottom feeder. No, I'm not that, about that. Was it. you just? Oh, no, I'm okay. not about that. No, no, no. I, I thought you said we. Listen, I was like, men, you know. dudes in general. I'm not gonna say and dudes. Are, I mean, we get we get wild when you with a woman that you love. Yes. These, these are women in two committed relationships. So of course, dude, they having wild sex. That's what you want to do when you with somebody. You having wild <laughs> sex with them. Yeah. <laughs> But you got girls out here, you got women out here that's thinking that they can say all of this <laughs> reckless stuff with mouth, with, with, with the mouth. Yeah, and let me tell you everything something. You got like, y'all mouth. just want the girls to be humble. No. No, Kiki. Yes. Kiki, the issue, right. I don't have an issue with them saying they got WAP. That's cool. If you think you got it, you got it. Whatever. Right. But guess what? Here's the problem. The lyric that everybody is overlooking is, I don't cook, I don't clean, but I still got the ring. Yes. No, no. You're rich, Cardi B. It was very mm-hmm. like that is why <laughs> no. you are rich. You no. are rich. I Don't. do not. I do not want these minimum wage working women to get out here thinking <laughs> they got to cook and clean and get a ring. It just won't happen. <laughs> Kiki, <laughs> no. T- Kiki, I, I tell not. your sisters they cannot. They <laughs> cannot say I don't cook. I don't clean, and they think it's just gonna ride. It it depends on the woman and the guy. Ladies, you know what? Take what you will from this song, but I enjoyed the song, and I'm not going to let you men ruin this moment for us, these women in history. They just did what they were supposed to do, and I love it. Ladies, ladies, if you have a roommate, you have to cook and clean. (laughs) Come over there. If I come over there in the house dirty, y'all nasty. Y'all, I don't care what y'all talk about. Y'all got wop. It, 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 I don't care nothing about that wop. Yes, you do. Yes, you got roaches. You, That's y'all you got. all fronting. Y'all all fronting. Y'all come all on, man. Megan, come on. You see come on. If you share at- hotel rooms with your girlfriend at a grown <laughs> ass age, guess Thank what? You. Ladies, you got to cook and clean. You got to cook and clean. <laughs> no, 
We ain't doing that. I told y'all last episode. We not about to be acting like wives to dudes who are not husbands. We are not sitting at home crying no more. We are uh-huh. out here with this good wop, living our best lives just like y'all. So and you gonna make it. I said it before, and I'll keep mm-hmm. saying this. Yes, women are supposed to be the ones that are not crazy. Y'all are supposed to be the ones that take us and grab us and say, look, get yourself together so we can start a family and stop being all over the place. We but, tight. Because, but if you are wilding <laughs> and I'm wilding, it's, it's no- extinction of the human race. That, look, <laughs> we tired. That's over. We tired. Y'all need to sit this one out and let us enjoy it. Mm-mm. Go ahead. Y'all it know? is a great record. I was mad that they, I was, I'm not mad. I mean, I, I was really happy that they used a juke track from Chicago. Yes. I mean, I, I felt yeah. that was that was dope. Yeah. Um, I even the then leave record. I hate that I like the then leave record. <laughs> I, like I hate it. that I like it, but it's so good. It's good. so good. It's so, it's so good. good. And, and that song is crazy too. And it's a guy talking crazy in that song too. So let's not you know forget that part. Now, we won't, we won't, we won't. Well, speaking of talking crazy and being just a little Kanye. Um, Kanye has tweeted out before we started the pod that he misses Jay-Z, uh, getting investigated for election fraud. Um, also, he's saying that he wasn't with Trump, but then Trump's friend, well, his Trump's lawyer was helping him out with the whole thing. Kiki, when this all broke, how do you feel about Kanye? You know, I, I have to say thank you, Yay. Every time we get ready to pod, this man starts tweeting. It's like every time he knows when we're about to tweet, and he, I mean, when we're about to pod, and he just starts <laughs> tweeting. So I love that about you, Kanye. However, as far as Jay-Z is concerned, I mean, I think it was great for him to say that he misses his pal. We know that. You know what I'm saying? But Jay-Z what? is a Sagittarius like me. And here's the thing. Once you act crazy on us, we will never forget it. We will forgive you and we will, you know, be nice, but we will huh. never forget it. It will never be the same. We will always be in the back of our mind like, you weird. You know what I'm saying? You spazzed on me that one time <laughs> and I'm not going to ever forgive you for that. Like, I'm not going to let that go, but we cool. You know what I'm saying? So it was good to see. <laughs> it was good to see. Note to <laughs> self, Zach. I think she's telling us don't ever act up. I'm just right. saying, I, will, I never forget. I will be nice, but I will never forget. So, you know, Kanye, there's really no chance of you really making that 100% better. Uh, but as far as the election fraud, I mean, are we shocked? Like, is anybody shocked that he had fake signatures? I'm not. Allegedly. I'm not, I'm not shocked. What yeah. about you, Jack? I mean, I... Whatever can get Kanye West off the ballot in November. <laughs> I don't care if it's election fraud. I don't care if it's real fraud. I don't care right. if, he, if he go JT City Girl fraud. Whatever it takes <laughs> for him to get off the uh, election ballot is all I care about. And as far as him being friends with Jay-Z, that is over with. You, yeah. Did you see? With. Let me tell you something. This has nothing to do with nothing. But I saw Jay-Z and Beyonce's, the back of Jay-Z and Beyonce house on Black is King. Okay, it, I put it together. That little orange, that big orange wall is the back of Beyonce and Jay-Z house. And anybody who lives in a house that big does not give a damn what Kanye <laughs> talking about in Wyoming, okay? <laughs> yeah. He does not care. He ain't thinking about Kanye West. And I'm gonna tell you something, Kanye, you need to be trying to get back with your wife instead of running for president. Yeah, you need to start going. That's now, the truth. Now this is the thing. Now it's the kick home, in the bro. pants is, the kick in the pants is, listen to this. Now we all heard about it. That basically that Jay-Z was like, yo, don't get with Kim Kardashian. And then he got with it, it would kind of put a strain on their friendship. And he yeah. ended up doing it. He went with Kim. Now, looking back on hindsight, and he probably might lose Kim and he lost Jay-Z as a friend. Whew. Do you think that was a bad decision? Absolutely. I think, no, I don't think it was a bad decision for him to get with Kim. I think that you know, I, and I don't even think Jay Z was really that mad about that because we, you got, you are guys. You know, you can't tell your homeboy who to smash and who not to smash. If he want to smash, he gonna smash. He want to wife her, he gonna wife her. You know, that's just how it go. But yeah. as far as Jay Z is concerned, I think when Jay Z went through his little scandal with Beyonce and Kanye was out getting married and he tried to get Jay to come to the wedding and the alleged side chick, Jay's alleged side chick, was gonna be at the wedding. I think that's when Jay-Z was like, oh, you playing with my money. You playing with my empire. I can't. I can't. And so from that point on, Beyonce, like, we're not, we not eating dinner with them. And so he just got to do that. Note to self, Zach, Kiki came to pod tonight. 
She did. Saying, she I'm definitely came to pot. Like, look, you Kiki, to you are potting tonight. Hey, uh, let's go ahead. This was something. This is uh, in Zach's uh, field of comedy. Um, Kevin Hart, Ellen DeGeneres. Kevin Hart came to the rescue, posted something about Ellen, basically a support message to Ellen. Uh, and people got on Kevin for not supporting Nick publicly. And then Kevin came back to the world, and you don't know me, and Nick had conversations. Y'all are assuming stuff. And if somebody doesn't post it, it's not real. Y'all need to get out of that. How do you feel mm -hmm. about this? Well, you know, Kevin Hart should, Kevin Hart really should support whoever because we supported Kevin Hart when he went through his whole uh, cheating scandal in Vegas. We supported Kev. I was like, stand with Kev. So Kev is definitely going to come out and support because he knows what it feels like to be stabbed in the back. His homeboy recorded him while he was in the hotel room with another woman and then tried to, uh, what's it called, where you, uh, where you try to get money from? Extort, extort blackmail, yeah. Yeah, extort him. You extorted the man. So, yes, Kevin Hart is going to help out. He's a nice guy. Kevin Hart tries to do the right thing. But at the end of the day, Kev, some stuff ain't got nothing to do with you. People with one names are mean. I tell y'all that all the time. I told y'all that last time on the podcast. <laughs> Ellen and Steve Harvey have the, same, have the same people, okay? Ellen is the person that introduced Steve to his people. You remember when Steve had his TV show? Yeah. You remember he just... He just became Steve in a mustache. It was just Steve, and it had the little <laughs> mustache logo. I've met, I've met Steve Harvey. Really, really can be a really nice guy or can be a real asshole. And I think that's how Ellen is. I think she was really being mean to people. She was. She's nice. You cannot take up for people. Okay, rich people can't take up rich people. Kevin Hart came out of nowhere talking about, yeah, she's real nice. She ain't did nothing with me. Dude, you're a millionaire. You're, you're her friend, you're her peer. I don't care how she treats you, but how does she treat the person that, doesn't, that she doesn't need anything from? How does she treat the people working for her? That's, how, that's who I wanna hear from, and it's been a consensus that she's an asshole. So, I'm gonna have to go with that. I don't care yeah, Kiki, when you looked at Ellen and this whole thing, like, she's got all of this, all these reports coming out, right? Yeah. Everybody said, Ellen's mean, she's mean, she's mean. Kevin Hart supports her, along with other celebrities. Mm -hmm. Now, people are saying the backlash from Kevin is like, basically like, yo, bro, like, why didn't you support your man? When you look at it, it's like, how would you support a friend that was under fire? Well, here's the thing. I just think Kevin, first of all, if I'm Ellen, Kevin Hart, please don't speak on my behalf. Because everything we you've been accused of and all your scandals, you was guilty. In every last one of your scandals, you I'm did it. You did you that did. shit. In all your scandals, you did it. So, so like, I don't want nobody who always guilty. Yeah, Kevin did it. Like, don't speak up for me. He said he did it. That's what I, look. Well, she, my point exactly, Zach, if you always guilty in every rumor that come out about you, don't try to defend me, bro. Please, save yourself. Don't, don't try to save me. So, you said you need Ellen, somebody. <laughs> I'm blocking him all together. Like, don't don't speak on my behalf, Kevin. First of all, so that's that. When it comes to Nick, <sighs> Kevin, <laughs> I feel like he thought it was a better look if he spoke out on about Ellen. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black man. She's a woman. Let me speak up and say no. Ellen wouldn't do that. You know, I, I, it was like almost a little Terry Cruz, and I might be. You know, I'm. I'm, mm. I'm I'm fine, but I'm bad. being honest. It was a you look. came to pot. <laughs> she is not playing. It was You're not playing look. tonight. Y'all didn't feel that? It was just like it was a little bit calculated in my book. Because why you didn't come out and tell us that you support Nick? Because Nick messing with them Jews. Okay, that's why you didn't come out and say that. Because Nick is messing with the Jewish people. And we know that's not what you do. So you didn't come out and say nothing about Nick. But when it's Ellen and she just cussed out a couple interns and producers or whatnot, you know, now you want to speak up and she's great and I'm helping my boy, shut up, shut up and sit down. <laughs> no, that was not the time nor place. Kevin Hart don't ever speak up for me. Um, and, and I'm sure Ellen felt the same way. Just saying. What, what about a friend that's under fire? Uh, let, let's just say like for me, like I was under fire a little bit for about, uh, about what, two weeks ago. And yeah. even actually before we started pod, somebody put out another fake, fake ass, ass video. Right. Fake yeah. ass video that's saying that they heard somebody having sex on the radio, which is 
stupid. So how do you support a friend under fire? If you, you, do you call them? Do you do it publicly on, on, on social media? Well, how do you handle it? Zach, how do you do that? You go balls to the wall, baby. That's how balls. I do it. That's how you got to go. <laughs> you got to go balls to the wall. Balls. Hey, you got to just go with them. Whatever they say. You have to take. See, Kiki went in on Kevin Hart. But the thing is, you got to you gotta, you gotta take the Kevin Hart approach. Is like, listen, when you talk to me, ain't no way Tone would do that. No way. No way. I'm going all the way in. You know what I'm saying? Right or wrong. That's how you, your homie's supposed to support you. You're supposed to go to the grave with it. I don't care. I don't care if you got two videos of them doing it. I'm going to be like, listen, man, I know that one. I don't, care. I don't care what nobody's talking about. That's how you got to hold down your partner. You don't be wishy-washy like, oh, I don't know what happened. No, you, you know what happened. It didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's straight face. You know, Kiki, what do you, what do you, how would you hold your friend down when they under fire? Do you do, do it publicly on social media? Because we know if you don't do it on social media, for most people, it's not real. How, how would you do it? First of all, you gotta go. You gotta follow your friend lead. So if my friend's speaking out about it, and my friend is looking for that type of support, I'm there. I'm. I'm not gonna lie, Tone. In them little 48 hours, that little mess was going on. I was like Olivia Pope. I had my statement ready. I was ready to speak out. I was ready to go in. But I was like, you know, Tone was like, sis, chill. Tone was like, sis, calm, chill. So I'm just, I'm a chill. But you know, like, so I feel like you have to go with whatever your friend is doing. You know what I'm saying? If you're yeah. not, gonna, I'm not gonna speak louder than you. You know what I'm saying? But if you if you tag me, if you tag me in the fight, I'm whooping ass, <laughs> and that's just how it's gonna go. So you know. All right. and, and secondly, whoever keep putting out these videos, y'all weird as hell. And I edit videos for my nine to five. Y'all doing horrible ass editing job. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. So you know, if Terrible. you want some tips. Like, come holler at me. <laughs> we can help you out. <laughs> I'm not giving that. I'm not giving that no energy. I'm no, yeah. like, it, it's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's ridiculous. It's weird. And whoever yeah. has that much time on their hands is a weirdo. Uh, <laughs> and, and God bless you. But I do hope you get herpes on the mouth, though. I do hope you get herpes. <laughs> Nothing's going to kill you. Just get it right here on the meat. So when everybody so stands you, they look yeah. at you like, <laughs> so nobody ever wants you to take a sip out there like like oh go ahead you got it <laughs> you got it right <laughs> uh hey uh off of that man um and this is one thing that i say i've said it tons of times on my show tons of times about a prenup i feel like if you get married without a prenup it's like driving your car without insurance Mm. Uh, Dr. Dre's wife is currently fighting the prenup that they have. I don't, we don't know what she's scheduled to get inside the prenup, what she's get, but she's fighting the amount of money that she's going to get. Uh, Kiki, we got to go to you, of course, because you on fire tonight. Uh, how do you feel when you hear about Dr. Dre and his wife going back and forth over this prenup? You know, at first I was cheering for her because I thought they didn't have a prenup. So I was like, girl, you know what I'm saying? He's a billionaire. You you did that. Yes, get your money. But now that there's a prenup in place, you know, since fight for your life. Don't give up. He got all the money for the legal fees. I don't care if we got to stay in court for 10 years. I'm not walking away from billions of dollars that I helped you earn. That's just it. How did she help him? She was not with him shooting in the gym, you, Kiki. You don't know that, Tone. You don't know that. She probably worked out the deal for Beats Bad Dre. Like, I... They are you just said it. They're called Beats by Dre. <laughs> yeah. You know, is she... Not Beats yeah. by White. <laughs> Zach, where's Brandy? Because see, now look, if a woman is with you, she is with you through it all. When you go home at night and you need to just decompress, <laughs> she is there. When you need to, you know, when you need that advice before you sign a, a big contract, you know, you can holler at your wife. That's mm. what all happened. <laughs> 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 we playing the violin. This, what? Fight for your life, sis. What? Fight for your Man. life. Yes. So that means your homies owe you owe your homie some bread. No, because <laughs> dudes, we holler at everybody: our cousin, no. our homie, our mama, our aunts. We holler no. at everybody. Stop, Tone. Your wife is different. That is your life partner. We are in this together. She probably the made sacrifices so he can go out and get that type of bread. When she you has that been rich. What sacrifice are you making? He's been Dr. Dre forever. 
What she, she do? Like, oh, she yes, had to watch it. You had to hire the nanny? Yeah, babe, yes. I had to sit down and interview all these nannies. And, you know, it's just, listen, she deserves half. Just get them. Just, you can't spend that much money in your lifetime. He can't even spend that much money. Why he being selfish? Well, because he earned it. It's his. Oh. He is, oh my God, Kiki! You Listen. are wildin'. That's nuts. Zach, Kiki, look, what you think? You got dude, a prenup? Last time, first of Zach, all, Zach, you I'm, have a prenup? I'm poor. <laughs> what it are we? Matter, what brother. are we splitting? You not gonna? You not gonna be poor forever, bro? Period. The fire I'm gonna take you. off, and then it's over with. No prenup, Zach. Don't do you, it. You make sure you lock in. It's cheaper to keep it now. Don't do you it. ain't gotta. Listen. It's too late. You no, listen, I think I think it's different situations for the, you know what I'm saying. She she done been through the trenches with me. So I that that deserves the money. Thank and you. so like a man in love. Yes, Zach. So I, I definitely uh -huh. understand that. And do you remember last time we talked about this? I was for her getting some money. You remember? Yeah, but now but now I'm a I'm against it because you gotta understand this. I looked at I looked at what they were saying. Dr. Dre was like, I will pay you spousal support. I will do that. I will help. Like, I'm not going to send you, like, just out to drive. But when you're trying to get half, like, you know, just, just be reasonable. You would think that we would have two reasonable people. But when you have an angry woman, she's trying to get whatever she can take. And guess what? The law is always on the woman's side. So, yes, fellas, if you are rich, if you got money, you know what I'm saying, make sure you get that document signed. What did she say? She said, yeah, I signed it, but you ripped it up. <laughs> What you mean? I'll rip it up. <laughs> it up. It's right in the safe. He's like, no, I didn't. It's right here. See? It's right here. Yeah. See? You and now she's saying she signed it under distress. Come on, man. Uh, yeah, I can believe that. Well, it's always going to be distress. Hey, sign it or we're not getting married. It's kind of that simple. Tone. Tone, let me ask you a question. Has there ever been a time in your grown-ass man life where you have used, where stress got out, got you out of a situation? <laughs> Never. <laughs> that does not work for men. We cannot say that. Yes, you can. You'd be like, man, babe, I, I hit her. I, I had sex with her out of distress. <laughs> I wasn't trying to cheat. She's not going to no. believe you. Women can, y'all already know that y'all can use so many different types of what? words. Distress. Like, distress. <laughs> distress. And then everybody's gonna feel sorry for you. I'm gonna tell you this: no one deserves half of your money. But, <laughs> ladies, but I will say this: if your woman is in, in contrast to what I just said, if your woman has been with you in the building process, i.e., yes. Jeff Bezos, perfect right. example of half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was in it from the ground floor, helped build it. Taught him stuff. They he he had no problem. Like yo, I get it. Like yo, like I oh, oh you have. But when women and I'm going to say this, when women marry basketball players, you had nothing to do with him being seven feet tall, could <laughs> run like a deer, jump to the moon, oh and be God. able to play basketball to stick an orange ball in a neck in a hoop no. a bunch of times. <laughs> It's so that much comes more. from skill, DNA. His no. trust me that that those type of ones I be like I like you it's, was what I like if a woman came in and I married and she's like yo I helped tone out with his radio career. I'm gonna look at you like I've been doing <laughs> this for a while, but in Atlanta, this is the thing with the prenup for me. But in my mind, I would have in my prenup anything that we I've got. After you, if we got deals, I got you help me, you help me get deals, we gonna we gonna split them deals. We gonna split. Split. That's we fair. gonna split them. And that's the thing. I'm not saying see the thing when women hear prenup, they think, go on about your business. Like, right. <laughs> like no, they feel I feel like it's just a conversation. It's saying, hey babe, if we break up in the in the, in the wild circumstances that I don't want it to happen, like same thing with insurance on your car, you don't want to get in an accident. This is what you're going to get. And this is what we'll do if we start doing business together. Let's say we open a restaurant together. Bang. Mm -hmm. If we buy a house together, mm -hmm. we're splitting that. We're going to sell split. it. And we're going to split it. There's, there's just ways to do stuff. This is 2020. 
when when you were getting mad before, women was getting traded in for cows and 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 goats and mm. all type of stuff. They were like, oh, okay, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'm saying like women were like, you know, I, you married a woman. I'm saying you, I went too far right there, didn't I? I said, women, you got you got married. No, no, said, no, Joe, you're done. I'm done. Okay, we're cutting you off. Okay, you've had enough. That man said women was getting traded him. Yeah, see how passionate Tom get when it comes to his money. Man. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. The Hennessy. When he starts talking about his money, I went too far. I went too far. Yes. It's nothing you can do. Yes. I went. I went too far. I went too far. I tried to prove a point. Bad Hennessy. Bad Hennessy. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Let me let me keep it going. Now that I'm ruined the pod at this point. Uh, <laughs> Wow. Common, we're back in relationships. This is a relationship pod today. Um, Common and Jag were all right. Now, Kiki, you got a lot of information on this. Now, to what I've read, yes, makes me feel like they were in a relationship because of what she said to Erica Badu. Right now, how Jag were all right? So, everybody that doesn't know, in case you didn't know, uh, Common uh, and her had, I guess, they had an issue because she said she alleges that Common tried to put his his thing in her mouth while she was asleep to wake up, like wake up, wake right. up, because he was trying to get some. Right. She says that, you know, that was, that was bogus, of course, it's sexual assault, uh, and then there's some other things that surrounding it. Kiki, we heard about the story, and you know the story, how were you feeling? Well, it just kind of caught me off guard, because first of all, I feel like we haven't heard anything about Jaguar right since she was on Song Cry with Jay-Z. So like, you know, first I was like, wait, who is that again? Oh, okay, that's her. And just looking at the live, it seemed very, something was a little off. And I don't ever like to um, discredit a victim story when they say it. You know, I always want to look at the facts. And she was talking a lot about Common and talking a lot about his childhood and relationships. So I guess they go way back. But she said that she woke up and he had his thing on her mouth. And I was like, what? And it's just, I mean, it's, it's so off brand for the Common that we know. But that doesn't mean that it's not true. So, you know, I, I do I, I do want to look a little further into the story, but something about Jaguar Wright just doesn't seem all the way together. So, and I read somewhere that she just got out of jail. I read somewhere that she um, just had a nervous breakdown. So, you know, if this is what she's going through, you know, I'm not going to accuse or take a side in the story. I'm just going to say that, something ain't right and, and and sis is a little off right now so you know okay zach when you heard about the story i mean it, it had a lot of because we saw the interview it was a really aggressive ass interview yeah i was just when you saw it she was very angry she was real mad and um it was it was very but if if he did do that that is very sexual assaulty you know okay um, that's, that's a new word yeah sexual assaulty assaulty um, mark it Exactly. Came up with a new word. Okay. That's, just, that's just what it is, sexual assault. Right, you pardon. Okay, you tried. No, but it, it could be sexual assault. I was trying to take it somewhere. I See, tried to take it because if they're in a relationship. Okay. You know. Oh. Also, if they're in a relationship, it's okay for him to slap the thing. That's okay. not what yes. I said. How did you get that out of what I just said? You Kiki, yes, it, it is. Yes. Kiki, I, I say yes. If you're in a, no, Tom, if you're yes, in a weird. comfortable, no. sexually consent him if that's the word and you can you can if you're in a healthy sexual relationship with a yes. with your girlfriend everything is going everything is funny like oh. wake up you hit her with it that's like our tapper oh. it's like our thing Tom, you ain't never Tom. you ain't never tapped your wife and i hate to get in your bedroom you ain't never <laughs> been like wake up babe you Tom. ain't never did that Tom. Tom. Really? I, I don't I don't I don't know what you old school Chicago brothers do in y'all bed between you and Common. I don't know what y'all do. But that 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 is very no, he fit the description He fit the description. Like, no. That's that's South Side light skin dudes. That's some like, South Side light skin ball head dude stuff. I don't know what y'all be on. Well, we got our answers. Common I'm gonna tell you this. Common did it. You know how many ways you can like turn, you know, you might kiss her with it, but you know, I, I'm just not gonna be standing over my wife as she's cold sleep with my penis out. 
not smacking her with it in her mouth. That's a bit. That's a bit much. That's a bit much. <laughs> it is a bit much. Now I've never done. Now that. let's say let's say y'all. Okay. I'm gonna tell you where the only time is acceptable. Only time. Let's say, let's say y'all went out. Y'all were having drinks and y'all were getting frisky. And you know how it is when you're in a relationship and you're trying to do it, but you be a little tired. You know what I'm saying? And like y'all were y'all were in the moment of doing it, but she kind of went to sleep. And you're like, girl, I'm already get up, get up. Like that's that's funny. You know what I'm saying? That's the only time because you were in that moment. But if she if he woke up after a night's rest and she's been asleep for eight hours and you wake up smacking her in the face with your penis, that's a bit aggressive and a little sexual assaulty. No, it's a lot sexual assaulty. <laughs> Kiki, I'm going? not gonna get in anybody. I'm not gonna get in y'all bed, and I'm not trying to tell you. But nobody, Zach, I don't believe you. First of all, that you had never like woke your wife up, not in her face, but you ain't never tapped her with it at nighttime. Like, like when you woke up before her, and something yeah. woke up before but you. The, the face you makes a difference. The place makes a difference, so It does. It does. It, I guess it does. It yeah, does. If you, you smack her in the face with it. That's a little disrespectful. First of all, yeah, I mean, I some people like that, Zach. Some women is, like that. I'm just here saying. Here you go. Whatever, whatever here you go. What like, people like. Simon did, he did it. Cause this light skinned ball head man <laughs> just, <laughs> just, and you fit the description. So comment, you did it. That, that, that's the close. It's a close case. Look, Thank you. Hey, can you? I just said if you were in a healthy sexual relationship. <laughs> and you and we and we get I we gonna have fun. It's a joke. It's like hey, like hey, look, look, look at this girl. Look, it's like yeah, it's like yeah. okay. Well, but y'all can call us bottom feeders, but we can't. We, oh we can't wake you up. We can't give you a little tap tap. Hey, you see this? We can't tap you. With you can it. tap. That's crazy. Who ever wants to be tapped, but if she don't want to be tapped, it's sexual assault, not it, salty it Zach. It's sexual assault. So it is. Be it careful who y'all out here slapping your pain things on people's heads and foreheads and things, okay? So be yeah. in a healthy relationship, yes, fellas. Yes. It's, it's funny when you're in a healthy relationship. You both will laugh about it. Yes. I'm saying. Yes. I'm saying. Okay, speaking uh, of, of fun. things that are, 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 <laughs> are going to make people feel weird, um, the coronavirus vaccine. Yes. Now, let's talk about it. And they're saying that it's going to be mandatory. My thoughts is that it's going to be mandatory. A lot of people are like, oh, I don't know. You know. I don't know if I'm going to take it. No, they're going to make you take it. Are you going to take the vaccine, Zach, if it's mandatory? Um, I, I, I will do everything I can do not to take it. Why? You know, but if it, if, it, if it comes to something like, as far as like, hey, either you take it or you don't go, or you can't work, or something that puts my livelihood in, in jeopardy, I guess I'll go ahead and suck it up and take it. But um, let's just look. I mean, if you look at the history of our people, black people, and vaccines, um, we, we, we really don't have the best history. You know, they was giving us different vaccines back in the day, giving us stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's where my hesitation comes in. It's like, uh, y'all don't really do right by these vaccines too much. And the thing about new vaccines is it just came out. You can give me a vaccine for polio. That's proven. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got polio or the measles. Yeah, I'll take that. But this coronavirus vaccine, this hot off the press. You know, this 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 just came out. I don't want no vaccine just came out. I need to see how it's gonna hit a few people. If you you know, let me <laughs> let me see how it works out. Next thing you know, you're gonna hear one of them commercials like, if you did you take the coronavirus vaccine in 2020? <laughs> you can you can sue. You know, when you start growing a foot out your neck. You know, I'm, I am not going to be one of the first people. And shout out to those people who are brave enough to actually um, be the test people for the, for the vaccine. You are better than me. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Kiki? So are you, are you agreeing with Zach? Like, yo, you're not going to be on the vaccine when it comes out? Yeah, I absolutely agree with Zach. You know, I have been, you know, knock on wood, I have been corona-free this whole time, and I've been doing the same thing I always do, eating me some babas, you know, getting me some, uh, some <laughs> and you know, so, you know, so I am just fine how I am. So I'm like, <laughs> Zach, y'all gonna have to test a few, like a lot of people before I go get in line to get it, you know what I'm saying? So I will not be the first. I'm good. Uh -uh. Be good over here. Ain't no wrong. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, 
Not the first wave. That's like buying the first wave of iPhones. Like that. I never do it. Yeah, never do it. Never do it. You never, never do it. Okay, let's uh, jump to this. Things uh, to watch. Uh, have you guys seen anything? Have you, what you watching on TV? What you watching, Zach? What y'all watching, PP? What you watching? I'm watching P Valley because you told me, you know, how good it was. So I'm done with that right now. I, it's a crazy. little, it's getting a little, yeah. <laughs> it's wild. It is yeah, it's a little. It's good. I wasn't expecting that when I when I when I went to watch the show about strippers. No one was. That's what made it good. <laughs> That's what made it good. I was watching it with my boyfriend, and he was like, "What is this? What?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it's just an OP Valley." So I, I really enjoy that show, um, and I've been watching um, the Shy Lena Wave show too. I, I really like that. So. So, so let me ask you this about the shot. And I'm not hating. Uh -oh. I'm not hating. Do you feel a little disrespected? Shout out to my friends that are on the shot. But do you feel a little, not let me disrespected or weird that they're not having Chicago accent? Because if you watch The Wire, everybody sounds like they're from Baltimore. Mm. Every single one. But the shy, unfortunately, it gets compared to one of the, obviously, one of the best series that ever come out. That's one of the top five ever to come out. But do you, do you be like, yo, it doesn't really sound like Chicago. Sometimes they get the streets wrong. I, I, how, it's, how you feel when you watch that? You know, I actually like it when they just talk. I don't like it when they get into the trying to do the Chicago slang because it just sounds fake. It sounds weird. So I like when they don't. And then I think also because I'm born and raised here, I feel like I don't have an accent. So when I'm watching them, I don't expect them to have an accent. I just expect them to talk because I feel like that's what we do, just talk. But when they try to do the Chicago lingo, I don't like that part. So I'll take it how it is with them just being regular. Don't try to overdo the Chicago thing because it just sounds stupid. That's my opinion. All right, Zach Bug, what are you watching, man? What you watching? Yeah. Oh, you got something to say about that? Yeah, um, because as, as, as somebody who's not from Chicago, but from Gary, someone very close to Chicago and have heard it, um, I think, and this is this is because I can I can look at it. See, I can look at it differently than y'all. Y'all are y'all like y'all born and raised here. You know, I spent a lot of time in the South. Came back, you know, have seen different accents and stuff. So one thing that I can say is that Chicago. It, it's hard to get a Chicago accent because y'all sound different de depending on the person you're talking to. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not like a clear Chicago <laughs> accent. You know everybody what I'm saying? Everybody got a little different. Everybody got a little different twang. Everybody got a little different words. You'd be like, what? You know, you kind of got to, every, every little piece has a different thing that they do. So I can get why they just would stay away from it because it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's tough. It's to not talk. universal. It's not universal. You go to New Orleans, everybody sound like Noah. You know, you, know, you go to Memphis, yeah. everybody sound like Memphis. But when you go to Chicago, you, some people sound country as hell. Yeah. Some people sound uh proper as hell some people are so street you like what did you say you know what i'm saying <laughs> somebody calls somebody calls people bro no matter if they're talking to a woman or not you know yes. a man or not yes. like it's, so annoying. It's, yes. it's a lot of different slangs in chicago so it's tough to kind of you know pick the right one but to get which one what i've been watching y'all probably gonna make fun of me for this but i'm the type of dude that waits and then watches stuff binge watches stuff later Cause I oh, hate yeah. to, I hate to watch stuff and then have to wait another week to see the next episode. I hate that. So I'm currently watching Insecure uh, okay. on, on HBO. I'm on season four, and um, it's good. I like it. You know, people are like, oh, you just not seeing Insecure? Yeah, I am. I am. I got into I, that late in the game too. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a late bloomer. You know what I'm saying? I, Power's next. I still haven't seen Power like that. You didn't really? watch Power? Nope. Mm -mm. Oh, see now, okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm Kiki looked like she lost respect from you. <laughs> I did. Like, no, I'm <laughs> wow. I, that's messed up, Kiki. You missed. I, the, I mean, I'm, I'm, tip, I'm always missing the movement. I'm always late because I keep. I when I, I stay on Housewives. I will watch any Housewives oh, from God. any city. It could be Housewives of, uh, look, Oak Forest, um, Trash. Uh, you know, Harvey. I will watch it. So. <laughs> Housewives of Harvey? I'm just saying, I will watch any Housewives. So it take me a long time to break away from them to go watch some actual TV. So I'm late too, but I can't believe you missed Power. It was so, it's so good. You'll love it's it. It's so love good. It. It's so good. It's some people that have missed Power. It, it's some people that haven't checked out The Wire. It's some people that haven't checked out 
So people that are watching, I'm telling you, Power, The Wire, Breaking Bad, mm -hmm. and mm, Breaking I got to say, I got to say, Walking Dead is like my absolute favorite. Okay. Walking Dead is my favorite. Um, there's some movies that's gonna be coming out uh, actually on Netflix. What is it? What is it? The Power Project ne yeah, uh, on Netflix. Fox. Yep. Jamie Foxx yeah. is gonna be a superhero, kinda. So <laughs> that's something. Check that out. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna watch. And that. then I had you guys watch um, Judas and the Black Messiah, the trailer for that. Oh yeah. Uh, the Fred Hamptons. It's an amazing trailer. It looks like it's gonna win an Oscar. Yeah. Am I? Oh Am I the only person who's like fascinated by like the Black Panthers and no, they and, no. they, and they whole uh, movement? Yeah, no, no. Anything that has to do with the Black Panthers, I want to watch it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're around like so much strong Black energy and people being militant minded and working together on the common cause, it's so powerful to me. You know what I'm saying? That's what I really admire about the Nation of Islam. Is mm -hmm. like the way they moved in unison as one. Like, I never forget what I- Organization behind it. Yeah, like, when I met Farrakhan, it was crazy. Like, I was like, wow, these dudes are on it. Like, they knew everything, bro. They came to the station the day before to case out the space. Like, where will he be sitting? You know what I'm saying? Farrakhan used my headphones too, by the way. Just wanna let y'all know. Really? So you got blessed headphones. That's why you growing your hair out, my brother, and stop eating. Yes, my brother. Yes, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, let's go ahead and wrap things up. There's no hate mail today. Uh, remember, guys, you can always send in your topics too as well. But let's go ahead and jump into it, man. Uh, the final thoughts, Zach. Will you first final thoughts for the pod? Fifteen, boy. Yeah, that's the thing. I can't believe we made it fifteen episodes. Fifteen times I have sat down in this chair and talked to the two most ignorant people I know. <laughs> Golly, I cannot believe we have made it this far without getting canceled. You know what I'm saying? We have some different opinions, some wild things, man, but I appreciate everybody who listens to us and wants to know our take on things. The fact that you want to know what we think is a blessing. I mean, I, I really appreciate it. Like, we really did this 15 times. 15, bro. <laughs> 15, 15 times. We supposed it's, it's, to have it's, it's super cool. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's go ahead, Kiki. Go ahead. Final thoughts. What you got to say to the people before we get out of here? You know, we gonna give y'all fifteen more. So just don't go nowhere. You know, shout out to everybody following the page. Shout out to everybody who tags us and stuff throughout the week. Like, man, <laughs> I know we gonna part about this. I know y'all gonna talk about this. Like, keep sending us that stuff because we just want to talk about the stuff that y'all care about and want to hear about. So mm -hmm. you know, shout out to everybody who's following us. And they, if you're not following us, go check it out, man. And what more podcast? So. I'm, yeah. you know, I'm geeked for 15. 15 yeah. <laughs> Episode 15. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up, too. Uh, just for simple fact, like they said, echoing my, my fellow co-host statement, we appreciate y'all for checking in. This is y'all first time checking it out, man. Check out the other episodes. Uh, get a laugh. Uh, I guarantee you you'll laugh a couple times, several times at it, man. It's a, it's a break from the, from the norm. We just try mm -hmm. to have a lot of fun. And like Kiki said, man, 15 more. We got 15 yeah. more. We appreciate all the subscribers, if you haven't subscribed to the page, make sure you subscribe so you already just get that alert as soon as you know every we Tuesday. upload the pod. Every Go Tuesday. Ahead and, and subscribe. And again, I'm just going to keep echoing what Kiki and I are saying and, and Zach is saying is the fact that what we want to do is we want to find out because it helps us. It helps us know what to talk about. Send that stuff in there. Send that stuff so we know what's touching you guys so we can give you more of it, that. And also let us know where you watching it. If you watch it on YouTube, click yourself watching on YouTube. If you watch it on I if you're listening on iHeartRadio, definitely do that. So let us know what's going on with you. And again, uh, we appreciate you. Episode 15, that's a wrap. And what more can I say? <laughs>